Caddy Dad one here with you. I've been hearing a lot about this uh, could be a an attack going on on the 4th of July and it could be happen in the same way that we saw happen in Japan and that is a nuclear device being detonated along the fault lines causing an earthquake and a severe tidal wave to go you know upon the area if you guys was paying attention right after what happened with Japan a military leader in Russia was talking to the Japanese and he had stated that they'd better go along with what they wanted or he could make another tsunami happen um, indicating that they were the ones who caused it and they could cause it again now there's several ways we can look at this and and ask if this is even possible is there evidence to show that this could happen well I, I found that there is some okay we have on uh, Google Earth here this is the ring of fire which goes around here to Japan now this is the big one now there's a smaller one in front here um, in front of Japan that could have struck it off here here we go I mean this is the large one here but this smaller shelf here could have been hit looks like we got a 5.0 that just happened here looks like also an earthquake but that's the large shelf now if we get in here and zoom in closer we can see that there are some smaller ones and this is you know this trench this Japan trench it's quite a good ways away and it hasn't got near the stuff that we see over here on this big the the rift here North Atlantic um, rift is what I'm going to call it I don't know what it is but this is where I believe they're talking about the coastal areas are in danger now you know people might say how could they do this well let me show you something else that I found how they could be doing this I've discovered this extended continental shelf project okay this project was going on and they did this um, the ECS project conducted two cruises in 2012 okay they just did it extended continental shelf summary of missions okay this is some information here on their missions but all along there they've just got done doing um, a lot of stuff this is the 2012 ECS Atlantic mission okay see this right along the United States here this is the area that we're talking about all along here now it doesn't look like they got up in here towards Florida there that bend but all along here they did and we see that they've been doing something here okay so they've done something stuff has gone down which is always 
you know, makes you wonder, what did they do, you know? What they do here, you know, and the places that look most vulnerable to me, that's closest, is right here in Maryland, Washington, Virginia, especially uh, North Carolina. Okay, it's really close. And they didn't come up into this area here, but they were down here. So, you know, Florida could get a brunt of it. But this is what I've seen so far. But these are the major fault lines here. So, there is some evidence, as far as I can see, that this could be possible. So, you know... Will it happen? I don't know. Could it happen? It could happen. And we also know from what happened with Japan and what the military guy said in Russia, you know, at, to the Japanese, we can set off another one if you don't go along here, indicating that they could set off another tsunami and earthquake. And we've seen the flashes that happened while this thing was going on. So... As far as I'm concerned, there is some evidence that this could be possible. Let's hope that it doesn't happen. But, believe me, y'all, they've got UN troops here and other foreign troops here for a reason. And if you guys have been paying attention to what's been going on, they're no longer in the training phase, but they're in the staging phase. They're on, they're on ready. Maybe it's not even the staging phase. And they've got past that. They're, they're ready, pretty much. They're getting into position, if not already there. Anyways, I hope this helps you guys to see a little bit and understand what could be going on. Because, like I say, they, they were doing something here in 2012, a survey. And they could have placed these devices along here then. And this is exactly where it would be for it to be uh, close enough to do some damage. I hope everybody's well and having a good day. And I hope that we can all have a good 4th of July. I hope this stuff doesn't happen. But it's this is the evidence that I've found so far. I hope everybody's well. God bless. Good luck to us all. This is uh, Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can, while we have time. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.